Okay. Hey guys, what's going on? It is Matt from Fit Double D Gaming TV, and I am back. That is right. Finally moved in, settled in, set up everything, and I am ready to show you here in a setup video as well as a face reveal. So go ahead and stay tuned at the for the end of the video for that. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and check it out. Bam! There it is, guys. That is where I'm doing my work. Just basically needed a new spot to do everything and that is pretty much how it looks like. I have cool LED lights. I'm going to go in depth in everything including my dog which you cannot purchase. Also sorry for the bad lighting. My lights here decided to go out and the breaker flipped and I flipped it back and still nothing is happening and the daylight is fading pretty quickly here so I need to get this done fast and show you guys what is going on. Everything is going to be linked in the description. If you do want something, uh, go ahead and buy it. I want to put it in the description. But big things like my bed here and like some of these posters, like I obviously can't link that in the description. So basically what you're going to be seeing, um, not so many things like furniture wise, but more of the technology items um, that you are going to be seeing. I'll try to link everything that I can and I'll let you know if I do or not. So here is the setup. Again, one more time I will go Again, sorry for the bad lighting. There it is, pretty cool. And there's that side, which I don't think I showed last time. So let's go ahead and just start off here. Again, I am really, really sorry for the bad lighting, but I think you can see it enough here. Um, basically on the left side of the room here, you will actually have my bed. Um, there is my dog. I was trying to get him to leave for this video, but he did not. His name is Cooper and you can see him there sleeping not even caring. Anyways, left side of the room. Um, you have the bay, but on the left side of the bay, which needs to be pushed back. I don't know why it's so far. There we go. You have my little nightstand thing. I just like to put things on it, like my phone and some change and some pictures and the Ray-Bans. So what you will see here linked in the description is most likely the Ray-Bans. Um, otherwise, it's just a bunch of pictures, pucks, stuff like that. I'm a Bay Area guy, so you'll see a lot of Bay Area type sports team posters, including this one a San Jose Sharks poster, they're my favorite team, and you see Rafi Torres there on the month of June. Um, I don't know if I said poster, I meant calendar. And I just have a whole wall here of pictures. Actually, I'm going to show this stuff. This is really bad lighting, I'm sorry guys. Garbage cans there, a cool little 3D Oakland A's logo thing you can hang on the wall. I haven't hung that up yet. Um, and my backpack, which I will link in the description, it's an Ogeo. Urban 17, so I'll go ahead and link that in the description for you guys to buy, but otherwise, let's go ahead and go on the other side of the bed so you can get a full view of these posters. Um, just some cool posters, most of them are sports teams, you see the two here on the top are basically just um, my personal uh, posters, the reason I got those posters uh, were for, they were championship things, um, not that I'm a bad player or anything, but I just never really was on a good team for hockey when I played hockey. And uh, that one, the big one right there, um, is the the main one that I look at. That is the first championship I ever won, ever playing hockey, and that was in my one, two. That was my third year playing, and there's not too many teams, so really, I, I feel like I should have won before, but that was the first one. Other than that, you see another uh, bunch of Sharks posters. The only Warriors poster I have is the Baron Davis one. The old Golden State Warriors. I basically just root for the A's, Raiders, and Sharks. I root for the Warriors. I'm not like a big fan or anything. I know they just won it, but uh, I don't really like buy any like shirts or anything. I have a couple of them, but I don't really wear them. I'm mainly a baseball, hockey, football kind of guy. So you'll see some more posters down there. And that is that. You'll see here a window with some achievements I got from my high school, which I just graduated and got my diploma. And you'll see here some cool sports chalet. I'd rather play hockey and I'd rather wakeboard because I do wakeboard. And this, somebody got me this for my birthday. I think it was my uncle. It was kind of cool. My last name's Thompson and my number was 86 at the time. Now it's 85 uh, when I played hockey. So they had this little cool thing where you input your name and your last, or your last name and your uh, number into the um, sports team of your choices locker room. So at the time, Denny Maki was the goalie for the Sharks. So I'm right there next to Thornton. Under that, you just got some... Um, Cool, like little things I haven't hung up yet. They're just like a um, canvas of my baseball stuff because I used to play baseball, play for like six years. Over here, I just have like this room, 
By the way, this is like a big attic that they converted into a um, room, hence the slanted roof wall thing. Uh, but yeah, they put in like, the owners before us in this house put in like all of these shelves. I don't understand why they put in all these shelves. So I don't know what to do with them. Right now they're just holding stuff because I don't have everything up on the wall. I wanted to do as much as I could, which I did. But some of the stuff is going to take another week to put up just because I'm getting stuff and, you know, stuff like that. So, um, we'll just go across. These are shelves right here, which I'm going to put up on my wall. I think probably right here for my trophies, which I'll go over in a sec. Right here, I just have some cool hats, which I will put above my bed here in this little area. Um... Sharks hat, a NorCal Champions hat, or NorCal Championships hat, which I got um, last year playing hockey. Um, just it was for entering the tournament. An A's hat, a cool Nationals hat, another A's hat, a cool vintage San Jose Sharks hat. Again, sorry for the bad lighting. A Pro Ambitions hat, which is basically a hockey camp that I went to like two or three summers ago, and a Sharks hat. So uh, over here we have a little cool speaker system thing with speakers that I haven't set up yet. I was going to set it up uh, with my computers and everything. I just didn't have enough room. It would have really improved the sound. Over here I have some trophies. I uh, played baseball for six years. I do have some cool signatures. This is the owner of the New York Yankees. Uh, this is a couple of Little League balls. This is one I got um, from batting practice once at the A's versus Twins. And this is Jeremy Affelt's signature from the San Francisco Giants, which I got a few years ago. Down here, we got a summer hockey league uh, thing that I got, um, the championship, pretty heavy actually, and then I played basketball for one year, and that is that. Um, again, nothing really on these shelves, I don't know what to do, that's just a bunch of crap that I didn't mean to bring, <laughs> I'm just kind of storing it there. Um, these are my old pair of beats right here, just sitting on top, these are the studios, the new ones, um, they're not wireless, they're wired. But I do get the new wireless ones, I'll show you in a sec, they're pretty sick, part of my setup. I'm going to sell these right here, again I'll link that in the description. Um, again, a bunch, bunch of junk, here's pretty cool, I have a huge wall full of playoff towels, Kaha State Championship towels, which is just for my hockey thing, um, as we went to the state championship finals two years ago and lost in double overtime, don't want to remember that. But anyways, laundry basket there, the essentials, I got a bunch of cool playoff tickets, slash big event tickets, San Jose Sharks playoff ticket. Uh, went to the 2012 World Series for the Giants Game 2, ALDS in 2013, and then this recently the Stadium Series for the Sharks and Kings. I have a bunch of A's tickets that I just like to collect. They look very cool um, when you put them all together, and also two Giants tickets. One of those was against the Cardinals where I saw um, Oscar Tavares, RIP. And you see my cool little bobblehead collection here. I was going to move it, but I think it kind of looks cool here. I'll get the lighting a little better. We got from left to right. Grant Balfour, Raging Gnome, Coco Crisp Gnome, um, so it's not all bobbleheads. Josh Donaldson, Catch Gnome, it's kind of hard to see, this lighting sucks. Uh, basically it's just Josh behind his backdrop when he made that amazing catch um, over the tarp. Um, then you got a couple of Sharks bobbleheads, Owen Nolan, Evgeny Nabokov, a couple of alumni, um, some weird trophies, a Donald Duck hockey bobblehead thing, um, an SJ Sharky, an old SJ Sharky. Um, a little beanbag thing and a cool goalie mask and also way back there a Curtis Joseph goalie um, bobblehead thing for the Red Wings. Got some old baseball cards here. Got my basketball picture I just off to put up. A cool little Shark Zamboni. A lot of Bay Area stuff as you see. Some more cards. Down here we got a bunch of bins full of random crap boxes of those gnomes. And um, if you see the Beats Studio Wireless which I just upgraded to. Over here we have some medals. We have um, let me focus here. There we go. You just see some medals, just championships, slash second place, slash third place medals that I've earned over the years. This is the double overtime loss in Caja. And it's just the championship for California. It's alright. Anyways, over here, by my setup here, you have all these cool, um, like, things, posters. I put the coolest ones over here, I think, because I'm going to see them the most. The Fanatical Club. Uh, Joe Pavelski there scoring in the playoffs against the Red Wings. A vote for Josh Donaldson. Um, unfortunately, he's not with the A's anymore, but that's okay. Bringer of Rain. Reserve parking, A's fans only. Just some cool pennants and stuff like that. And over here, trash can, another one. And this is the PS4 that I use. Got some drawers here full of stuff. This lighting sucks. I hate this lighting. I'm sorry. Two controllers, a controller charger cable and uh, mount. 
PlayStation Plus card. Down here we got some games. These are the four main games I play. This lighting really sucks. MLB The Show, Need for Speed, Madden, and NHL. I have more, but I use those the most, so I'll put those there for now. And then down here I just have a bunch of extra crap which you can't see, which is a Blue Yeti mic box and a Beat Studios um, case and a laptop um, shell. So, here we go. Office chair is here. I don't know if I can link this in the description. I can check, but I don't know if I can find this. I just got this at a uh, Staples, I think, or Office Depot. And that is that. Here is the setup, guys. This is what you guys were all probably waiting for. And here it is. I got two monitors. These are the BenQ ones. Um, more of a European brand than an American brand, but they were cheap and they kind of worked with my budget. So I decided to go with them. Um, you see here hanging off the side of the screen. I'll put it in better light here. These are the new Beats Studio 2.0 wireless, whatever you want to call them, the matte black edition. I just got them. I upgraded from the um, the red ones that weren't um, wireless. So in my videos, I'm going to start doing face cams, which you'll see in a sec, the webcam. I will have a wire in these. That's only because the monitor I have does not have Bluetooth capabilities. Um, one of them does because I'm connecting it to my laptop, but the other one is just by itself with the PlayStation So I have to use a wire which sucks, but otherwise I use these wirelessly. So these are wireless even though I'm using a wire Put these back here um, Next to it you will see a webcam. This is just the Logitech Whatever 1080p. I'll link it in the description. You can get that cool little cover so I can block myself out or not And this is the Blue Yeti mic black edition all black edition pretty cool uh, I got my little remote here which can change the colors of the LED lights that I put in the back which I can show you no I can't show you but basically I just put all these LED lights there like it's like a strip you stick on there and I really recommend it it's pretty cool you can change it to like a red you can change it to like an orange you can change it to a green a blue or even white which doesn't make sense or you can just do what I had it on which was like a fade thing so it just kind of fades throughout all the colors looks cool here is the wire I will be using for my beats with this monitor right here. This monitor is the same monitor, but I have it connected to my MacBook Air, which does most of the things here, even though I made this my main display. This isn't a computer, this is just a monitor that hooked up to my computer. Um, and yeah, again, BenQ 22 inch 1080p LED display with speakers too. You don't get a lot of monitors with speakers. I decided to get one. This is your standard Apple keyboard with a Logitech mouse. I just got it's cool uh, with a it's a wireless it comes with USB I do have a one terabyte um, external hard drive I had back there hooked up to my Apple uh, Apple my MacBook Air so that I just have some extra space and you see a lot of USBs plugged in here and here plus I have this big old there's the LED lights big old USB thing with my mouse webcam Elgato hard drive and that was awkward um basically my camera ran out of battery my phone actually and i think i left off with the usbs so that was the usbs a lot of usbs and this is my setup guys gonna be making some awesome videos got two monitors and a screen for video games which is with the console right there it's gonna be awesome guys i'm looking forward to it i hope you are too i have a schedule now for the whole week this summer is going to have a lot of videos so you will see it at the end of this video from Sunday to Saturday, and now for the face review, guys. I know this audio is kind of crappy, but getting into some better light here. And if you've ever wondered what I look like or want to know what I look like, this is it. Kind of a bad hair day, but this is it. What's up, guys? This is Matt from Fidelity Gaming TV. Again, sorry about the bad hair. Sometimes I have gel, sometimes I don't. Lately, I haven't been just because I've been moving and doing so many things, but uh, basically, this is me. Try to get into some better light here. I don't know which way is better. But this is me. Look forward to some awesome videos. I will see you guys next time. Peace.